Welcome to Code with my reference channel. In last video, we learned how to use pip freeze command in Python. In this video, we are going to learn what is Faker, how to install Faker in your system, and its advantages. Now, let's search Faker pip. Select the first name. This will react you the, to the Faker page Here you can see Faker is a Python package that generates fake data part Let's copy this Go to your VS code Open your terminal Let's paste If you have already installed Faker in your system then it will show you like this if you are not installed, then it will install Faker into your system. Now let's get into the code. To import Faker in your code, you have to write from Faker, import Faker. Then you have to create an object for Faker. Like how I created an object for Faker as fake. Then you can use that object to return email, country, name, text, etc. Let's run this code. Here you can see after I that I got the local is as EN US. That means English of country US. Then you can see it has generated email address, fake email address, fake. Uh, if you can say this like uh, it generated a dummy image dummy country, dummy name, dummy text, dummy latitude, longitude and URL. This error is because of this line. Let's come out this line. Now you can see it didn't throw any error. This is how we use Faker. And uh, you can also use Faker to generate more random dummy values for your code. Like I have generated uh, 30 random first name. Here you can see when I try to apply set on that list is showing me 28 but it should be 30 it is because that it is having a duplicate value there is possibility that your faker created first name will have duplicate now let's see the duplicate values using this single line of code you can know uh, which are the names got duplicated? Sorry, I forgot to import collection. Let's import. Here you can see this three name got duplicated. To avoid this duplication, we can write fake dot unique, then first name. Now when I run this code, you can see there is no duplicate. You can use this big dot unique dot first name to write unique names. Now let's move into other examples. Faker dot C. It is really very helpful in Faker. Say uh, you want to generate a name, the same name every execution on that case if you want to achieve in a normal scenario you will uh, assign a variable like uh, name equal to round then you will print this we can do using faker faker.c method now let's run our code again You can see that it generated the name Teresa Brown. Now, let's run again. 
can see it still generated the reservoir which is very helpful in Twitter if you want to generate a fake name every time on same every time if you want to generate a same name on every execution then you can use faker.c here you can change the value say if I want to access third index then you can use now when I run this you can see it generated Joshua Wood I run the same thing again Joshua Wood by this way you can uh, return a same name on every execution now let's see this example if you want to generate a sentence that should have a maximum length of two that means this word uh, then you can use this fake dot sentence here I pass to uh, let's run and see you can see it returned me a two word sentence if I run again it returned me two word sentence let's run again Sometimes it will provide you the same sentence again and again. So be careful when you are using Faker. If you want to generate a unique name, then please use unique. Or otherwise you can use a fake or sentence like that. If I want to generate a three word string, the max length of three words, then I can use three. You can see now it can be a three word string now let's move into bonus like once you install faker then you can run faker command in your terminal so you don't need to run any python file after installing after installing faker you can uh, run a command directly on your terminal like if I want to generate a fake name dummy name then I can use faker name now you can see it return me a fake name if I want to generate a dummy profile faker profile it will return me a dummy profile so this is a wonderful option provided by faker you can make use of it when you want to generate a random fake name then you can use this now let's move into logins. Here you can uh, see. Uh, let's run this code again. Here you can see the default local is English US. You can override this. Say that if you want to generate a Tamil name of country India, then you have to use ta underscore in. Now run. Here you can see now uh, it generated a Tamil name. If you want to generate a name in Hindi, then you can uh, use hi, the first two letter of the language name. Let me add the example for you. This will be very clear if you are watching this video. This is a multi line command. Let's take this in the example. If you are choosing in the language, then you have to use hi and country name, the first two letter of the country. The language should be in lowercase, country should be in uppercase. Please keep this in your mind, and that should be separated by underscore. Run this. Here you can see in your terminal now it is printing the name in Hindi. This is how we use Faker in Python. And the advantage of Faker is that you can use this Faker in your Cisco uh, development, scraping, automation, etc. On all of those cases you may need some random data say you are uh, developing a site for that you might need to add uh, 10 or 20 users 
you can't add um, everything manually so you can use this faker package to automate all of those things thanks for watching subscribe code with me channel